The water utility is an invisible infrastructure for most, if not all, communities. Um, you can see the water towers in the air, you can see the water treatment plant, but you don't necessarily see the distribution system that's underneath the ground. That being said, water loss, it's an unseen um, hit to revenue, and you don't really understand it until you put pen to paper and say, oh, I'm producing so much more than is consumed. Even though it's a requirement, it is actually a useful tool for these utilities. It's meant to determine losses in their systems, and it's important that they can identify these losses so that they can fix them. The Indiana Finance Authority is requiring that all water utilities do a water loss audit every year and then have that validated by a certified validator every even year. And if this audit is not done, then it may impact the utility's ability to get funding in the future. When communities are doing a water audit, they're going to need to provide a variety of documents that are going to include uh, the vol volume of water produced from their plants, uh, milling system records, their distribution system information, and some cost data. Really what the regulatory agencies want is for you to have a really healthy system. Utilities don't need people trained on audits to complete the audit. However, every two years when you get to your validation, you do need somebody who's trained and certified in validating water audits to validate your audit. Commonwealth can help do these audits because we work in and out of water utilities on a daily basis. We design your systems, we work on your systems, we evaluate what's happening in your systems every day. We have the capacity to take on these audits and validations. In general, if we help you with your regulatory requirements, it allows you as the utility to really focus on the operation of your system.